I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. 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 This is not the church of Joseph Smith. This is not the church of Joseph Smith. This is not the church of Joseph Smith. Travis Wayne Goodsell. So, President Ezra Taft Benson claims that Joseph Smith will be a false prophet. That's sad. I kind of like Joseph Smith. I grew up in the Mormon church, born and raised, studied him and his words, pursued a, an education in, in uh, biblical studies, and the classical language is biblical Hebrew, Greek, Latin, deciphered Paleo-Hebrew, deciphered Egyptian picture glyphs, which must be distinguished from Egyptian text, which John Champollion deciphered <coughs> from the Greek learning of the Rosetta Stone. If you know what I mean by that. If you are Mormon or ex-Mormon, familiar with the Book of Mormon, First Nephi, chapter 1, verse 2. And, uh, and so, yeah, I, I've come to recognize the truth of many of the precepts that he's given. And yet, here it is, Ezra Taft Benson <coughs> says, Nope, Joseph Smith will be wrong about the prophecies. He will not be correct. And our current president of the church, Russell M. Nelson, saying this isn't Joseph's church. We don't go by his prophecies. And so, yeah, uh, I guess it should be no surprise to me then that uh, Russell M. Nelson reported last week that uh, the Salt Lake Temple is Zion now. The question is, when is their date for the end of the world. Uh, we can guess and speculate, but they're not giving up the date. Because Joseph Smith is wrong. So, what's the actual date then? It's a big question on everybody's mind. And so I'm sure Mormons, therefore, are uninterested in what Joseph Smith's actual prophetic dates. Oops, did I reveal something there for the end of the world are. <coughs> in uh, 19 July 1840, Brigham Young refused to put this in the Doctrine and Covenants. I, let's see if I can find it. Zion and Jerusalem must be both built up, must, must both be built up before the coming of Christ. How long will it take to do this? Ten years? Yes, more than 40 years will pass before this work will be accomplished. And when these cities are built, then shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Huh. So I guess it's an indefinite date. We can just not build them so that we can be correct, right? 
Yeah, I wonder if there's anywhere else in Mormon scripture that would have this. First, we need to go through history. There are a ton, a ton of dates predicted for the end of the world. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I'm surprised. List of dates predicted for apocalyptic events on Wikipedia. They list them, and they miss some. And so we've got 1st millennium, CE, 11 through 15 centuries. Nothing between them? Oh, yeah, the 1st millennium, not century. 16th century, 17th century, 18th century, 19th century. I wonder if there'd be one for the church in that one. 20th century, 21st century, future centuries. <laughs> <coughs> So, yeah, we've got the first one listed here as 66 to 70 CE. Simon Bar Giora, Jewish Essenes. The Jewish Essene sect of ascetics saw the Jewish uprising against the Romans in 66 to 70 in Judea as the final end time battle. I wonder why. There's all these gospel scriptures talking about this. Huh. And did I not tell you guys that they were apocalyptic literature and not history? Hmm. Huh. Which would bring about the arrival of the Messiah. So, yeah, that's the gospels. The, wait, why aren't the gospels listed here? <laughs> By the authority of Simon, coins were minted declaring the redemption of Israel. Oops! Yeah. All the Gospels are false, predicting the end of the world and all, and the destruction of the Roman Empire. Oops! Yeah, they just didn't include the Gospels in here. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, even a Pope Sylvester II was false. wonder what that does to the Catholic Church authority. All right, now we have 1700s in America. Not seeing it. Sky turning dark during the day. Huh. Thick fog or forest fires? Hmm. Well, I'm looking in the 19th century, I'm seeing one that's missing. <laughs> I'm not seeing one, it's missing. There's one that uh, nobody's, I, it's, in the Wikipedia, it's in Wikipedia, I don't know why it was not connected to this list of events. Let's see, there is Come on. We're having trouble spelling today. Alright. Yeah. On 14 January, 1802, because the first one listed is 1805, <clears throat> there was this group of religious... Uh, Congregationalists that called themselves the New Israelites. It was led by Nathaniel Wood, uh, and he was in Middletown, Rutland County, Vermont. Oh, I wonder if that's where the Smiths were, or the Cowdries. I wonder if they had anything to do with this religion. And on 14 January 1802, oh, that was two years after Hiram was born, three years before Joseph would be born. Huh. The day that Wood said would be the commencement of the apocalypse. Why isn't it listed in the dates for failed apocalyptic prophecies? As the sect gathered, I wonder if the Smiths were a part of it, or the Cowdries. Hmm to await the arrival of the destroying angel the locals were so alarmed that on the night in question 
The militia was called out. The militia then fired their weapons to disperse this fraternity of Rodsmen. Rodsmen? Oh, the original Doctrine and Covenants, Joseph tells Oliver Cowdery that he has the the uh, <coughs> the rod of Aaron. Huh. I wonder if that has anything to do with this. This event was subsequently known as the wood scrape. Hmm, I scraped myself on wood. And so, yeah, that was the end of that organization. The... Uh, the congregation went back to their original congregation there in Vermont. Huh. I don't know why it's not there. Strange. So you'd think that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, as an apocalyptic religion, Latter-day Saints, would have a date for the end of the world. I, 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 hmm. Because it's just baffling how the church doesn't have one certainly they must have one and obviously I'm teasing you <laughs> because yes we all know of dates <clears throat> the Book of Mormon talks all about this John who's going to write a book about the end of the world I wonder if it's John the Revelator because he talks about the sun shall be darkened, moon turned to blood, stars fall from heaven, just like that Jesus guy who failed to be the Jewish Messiah. Hmm. Don't know why his date is not in there. With all those Gospels, there are over a hundred Gospels, because there are over a hundred apocalyptic churches after the destruction of Jerusalem. Each one trying to write a different text of the Gospels, as I've been going over with you. <clears throat> but here we have chapter 12. Now this is strange. He says he sees a sign in the heavens, calls it a wonder in our English translation, a woman. A woman in space? Well, obviously that's got to be a constellation. The only female constellation yeah, because Gemini, they're the two brothers, right? They're not a brother and sister. Or if they are brother and sister, there's a brother involved, so it uh, can't be that one. A woman, so it must be Virgo. But uh, you have to give birth first before you can be called a woman. Otherwise, you're a virgin. Clothed with the sun. Okay. Huh. Well, I learned from astronomy that the sun goes around the zodiac every year and so thus it passes through various constellations at certain times of the year oh this is in the middle of September to the middle of October when the Sun is in Virgo okay well that narrows it down the moon under her feet well the moon goes around the earth and thus around the zodiac 29.4 days plus or minus because <clears throat> today for example is a super full moon not just a super full moon another prophesied end of the world date of, of future time Passover huh. yeah the church doesn't talk about Passover I wonder what that was and whose religion that would be Certainly it wouldn't be any religion that would be the learning of the Jews, language of the Egyptians. But yeah, it's Passover. Hmm. That comes from... What is that person? It was called a Christ. According to the Jews, it was Messiah. Oh yeah, Moses. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, today's Passover, the first day of Passover. Super moon, warm moon. But uh, the moon is under her feet. And so with 29 days, it's possible that it could be two times within that month period as the moon or sun goes around. Uh, but, you know, most likely one. 
but we don't know. We have to figure out the date here. We're getting closer. So we're, we know the, the September to October date. So we know the, we don't know the year, but we are clear now that it will be a specific day in that month period of time, September to October. And then a crown of 12 stars. Well, Leo is on her head. That's designated by nine stars. That means there's three more stars that need to be added. Hmm. That's strange. Well, the planets aren't stars. They're planets. But they look like stars. I wonder if three of the five visible planets are being considered here. I don't know. Let's see, she's pregnant and is about to get birth. Birth to what? Is it one of the planets? I know Jupiter retrogrades for a pregnancy period of time. I wonder if that would have anything to do with it. Well, that would mean that there are four stars left that are visible if Jupiter is this baby in Virgo. Well, let's see. The Joseph Smith translation of this passage moves verse 5 up to verse 3. And so I wonder if this is to be added to this sign in the heavens. She brings forth a man-child. So it's the sign of the birth? Huh. Okay. And iron rod. Oh, so like the rodsmen of the new Israelites? Or the iron rod with the tree of life in the Book of Mormon associated with Jewish mysticism? Because after all, it says learning of the Jews. And her child was caught up to God. Well, the god of Jupiter is Saturn. That's the other of the five visible planets. That leaves three visible planets after this. Huh. Mars, Mercury, Venus. Huh. I wonder. Because that would be a very precise day and hour date. Certainly that can't be true. Because that would mean Matthew is wrong. Oh no. Yeah, and Joseph Smith, he copies that, and so he repeats it. But the Book of Mormon does a lot of copying of errors, too. But that would mean that Matthew is saying that John in Revelation is wrong. Who would be right? I don't know. Maybe I can use the spiritual witness to tell me which one is true, and then I can just accept that answer. Because, heaven forbid, I use astronomy and actually use a stellarium to find out that it's the 23rd of September, 2017? Well, that obviously didn't happen. That can't be a correct date. The sign of the birth? I mean, we need to find out more dates. We need to find out more events that are supposed to happen here. Because this obviously isn't when he comes. Right? as a baby? Is that what it means? Then we have this one about a dragon. Seven heads, ten horns. Wait, that's where Ophiuchus, which is considered the throne of God, which on 23rd September 2017 is where Saturn was located to make this sign happen. Very weird. Uh, this is not something the church prophets have told us about. In fact, when the Tetrad came out in 2014 to 2015 and three apostles of the church died, everybody was wondering, is this it? Is this it? And the church said no. Well, they're prophets of God. They speak for Jesus. Why would they lie to us? I mean, they're lying that Joseph Smith was correct about the last days. So, I, I'm so confused. This is so confusing. 
and therefore it must all be of the devil, and so I'll just put it all away, and I'll give up and quit, and just wait for Nelson to tell us what to believe in. Right? Because here we have another one. The tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, did cast them to the earth? Huh. Well, that that's Draco. Every year, in the first week of January, the stars fall from heaven. In fact, when Monson died at 10.02 p.m. on the 2nd of January, which was a super moon that night also, just like today is a super moon. Huh, Monson died. Yeah. But yeah, the quadranted meteor showers from the tail of the dragon Draco were falling. Monson died? Didn't we have a lunar eclipse? one month later it was a big one too it was a super blood wolf it was everything all thrown into one sign huh wonder if that had anything to do with anything for the latter days i i don't know i really should trust the prophets rather than scripture because the living prophet knows better than scriptures and he'll tell me what to do and believe in i should just wait for conference maybe when is conference Oh, we gotta wait till next weekend? Oh, man. So long ago. I need the answers now. <laughs> so, yeah, then there's this other bizarre thing in Revelation 19. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see Joseph Smith listed here either. They don't have him with the Book of Mormon. And so here we have something weird going on. In verse 11, he says he's seen a sign in the heavens, a white horse. Well, that's Pegasus. That's on top of, of Pisces. The two loaves of fish, or the two, yeah, the two fishes and the loaves of bread thing. <coughs> and somebody's sitting on the horse which means somebody is in Pisces. Well, who would be in Pisces, and how can we know the date? Because it's talking about war and death. Is this some kind of a death sign? This is very bizarre and weird. See, in verse 17 it says there's an angel standing in the sun. Well, where is the sun? Is this in Pisces on the horse? What's, what would be standing in the sun? Would it be the moon? Is this a death sign of a total solar eclipse? We had one on 21st of August 2017 that just happened to be President Monson's birthday, his last. It was also the ancient Egyptian religious calendar New Year. Wow. That coincides with their myth, because obviously it couldn't be true as a prophecy, about Horus, the son of Osiris, who goes back to battle Satan, who murdered his brother Osiris. Oh, you didn't know that the N at the end of Satan is for king? And so it's King Set. Huh. I wonder if I've done a video on that. Well, yeah. And so at the beginning of that battle, Horus has a total solar eclipse with his right eye being plucked out. Huh. Strange. That's, like, freaky weird. That That's, like, millennia B.C., multi-millennia BC. My goodness, how could they be that accurate? Look that far into the future to talk about this. That's just weird. <clears throat> that can't be true. That should be listed on this list of fake prophecies. Well, because that would mean that 8 April 2024. Well, Jesus' birthday is the 6th of April, isn't it? can't be the 8th of April, but that's the death date. 
well that's weird something's not right here well, maybe we should go to the Book of Mormon see what the Book of Mormon has to say on this Book of Mormon is the keystone of Joseph's religion it's no longer the keystone of Mormonism because the church says we're not Joseph's church so the Book of Mormon is no longer the keystone so yeah there's this guy named Lehi and in this first year 597 BCE there's some guy named Zedekiah who's made king of Judah Jeremiah tells us Babylon came and conquered Jerusalem and removed the original king of Judah and put on Zedekiah as king a puppet king and he was supposed to give tribute to Babylon not Egypt anymore hmm that's strange because 11 years later they come back and destroy Jerusalem and take everybody captive into Babylon who are rich anyway the poor were left to die and huh oh well, weird oh yawn stretch trying to come alive so yes an eight he passes out has a dream in which he sees signs in the heavens in this first year of the reign of King Zedekiah who's the puppet king and he sees God sitting on his throne just like I revelation does chapter 12 that's the sign of the birth what's going on now there's one descending out of the midst of heaven who looks like the Sun well that's Revelation 19 and he's giving a book about destruction of Jerusalem and then Nephi is born to him in that first year of the reign of King Zedekiah man this is just freaky weird very confusing I mean this couldn't be John's dates for 2017 to 2024 could it I mean that's just no no it can't be true Nelson has never come out and said anything like this none of the prophets have I mean here we have Helaman chapter 14 there's this guy named name of God who is talking to the capital of the Nephites <coughs> and here in verse 14 uh, is the sign of the death well, that's 8 April 2024 from Revelation 19 but he's also talking previous about a birth many signs and wonders in heaven sign he shall be born a new star arise huh weird that's 2017 September 23rd that can't be true I mean the church Joseph wouldn't have exposed the church this way especially if his dad was involved in this apocalyptic new Israelites why would he make the same mistake twice I mean yeah cuz I mean obviously if Mormons don't do anything and they continue to follow Nelson Joseph Smith will be proven wrong because it takes righteousness to fulfill the prophecies and if Mormons remain wicked and follow some other religion then yeah Joseph Smith will be proven wrong I mean Joseph Smith said this had the cities had to be built before this day before the coming of Christ in 23rd September 2017 yeah they're not built Joseph Smith is a false prophet now the Mormons turned Joseph Smith into a false prophet weird yeah it's amazing how Mormons just say screw Joseph we follow Nelson huh very bizarre so yeah I guess in 8 April 2024 I guess that's the date for Nelson because the Salt Lake Temple will be finished he said that will be Zion that all the world will be gathered to even the lost tribes of Russia huh yeah I guess the church is true and Joseph was false okay 
interesting. So, yeah, what is this Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints then? What do they believe in? Well, let's see. What is their symbol? It's not the cross. And they have their God created by the church with the logo. A statue of God, even. Huh. I wonder if there's like... Oh, look. On the Salt Lake Temple. On the keystone. Well, the keystone will tell us what they believe in because it represents the doctrines that are taught within the temple. Just like the Book of Mormon is the keystone of Joseph's Mormonism, which, you know, the church has proven that that's tr false now, because Mormons haven't built Zion and New Jerusalem. So, yeah, he's false. Joseph is a false prophet. So, yes, Nelson is a true prophet then. So what is the sign? The inverted pentagram. Oh, that's what Isaiah was talking about. How art thou fallen? From heaven, the inverted pentagram. Oh, Lucifer. Okay, light bearer in Latin, because remember I took Latin. <sighs> Son of the morning. Oh, that's Venus. Huh. So, Venus, inverted pentagram, Lucifer. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess we worship Lucifer. I wonder why the church doesn't say that. They always say it's Jesus from the Gospels. But that's already been proven to be false religion too. Because that first one listed, that was the Essenes. Hmm. They were one of the Therapeutae. Huh. Alright. Well, okay. I guess I'm a Luciferian. The Church of Lucifer Christ of Latter-day Saints. And theirs is going to be true, I guess, because they're working very hard to finish the temple on that conference before 8 April 2024. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's sad. I was born and raised Mormon, thinking that Joseph Smith was our founder. And I guess he was a false prophet. That's sad. I really wanted him to be correct. But I guess I didn't do my part to fulfill his prophecies as is required to make him a true prophet. Bummer. Man, if only I'd known. Oh well.